Okay, so it doesn't get more polarizing than the top of any fantasy football draft because this is basically the decision that is going to make or break your entire year. So if you are drafting two, if you're in the enviable position of drafting two and knowing that your opponent who drafted one probably went Jonathan Taylor, then it comes down to a choice between Christian McCaffrey or Derrick Henry, or maybe you just love Austin Eckler, but we're going to focus on just the first two guys. Derrick Henry, Christian McCaffrey, both have been fantasy superstars, fantasy studs, NFL studs and stars, respectively, as well. Both last year had a little bit of an odd year. Combined for 15 games played, Derrick Henry suffered a broken bone last season that kept him out the tail end of the tight end season last year, was able to return for the playoffs. This debate really comes down to for me is Christian McCaffrey. We know he's infinitely more of a pass catcher than Derrick Henry is. Uh, we're talking about a guy that has multiple seasons of a hundred plus receptions, a thousand thousand guy in his career. One of only three running backs to do that. But Derrick Henry is also a guy that has run for 2000 yards in his career. And if it wasn't for the injury last year, probably would have done it again with the extra game with the 17th game. I think the only thing that's making people uneasy about Derrick Henry and his injury concern is just the unknown. This is the first injury of Derrick Henry. We've seen guys like Christian McCaffrey who get injured once and they just keep getting injured. So is he going to be more on the Christian McCaffrey end of the spectrum or is he going to be similar to an Adrian Peterson who tears his ACL and comes back just fine? What's your confidence meter in these guys? I feel pretty confident about both of them, honestly. Um, I think Christian McCaffrey's had plenty of time to rehab, strengthen his his issues, and come back a stronger running back. And Derrick Henry, he was on pace to just destroy everything last season. Uh, he was unstoppable. And then that injury, unfortunately, took out the second half of his season. I think you're not wrong to go either way. It's It's funny to me. These two guys were the finalists for Heisman in 2015, and Derrick Henry won that one. But in this matchup, Christian McCaffrey's my guy. What was kind of interesting to me, and something that actually stands out when you look at the game logs, is Derrick Henry was actually on pace to pass his career highs and receptions last year. Early part of the season, he had three, six, three, two, 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 which doesn't sound like a lot, especially when we talk about Christian McCaffrey, who's a guy who's catching seven to 10 balls in a game potentially. But if you're having Derrick Henry, who's already giving you the rushing protection, the rushing volume that he is, and he's catching the ball at least three to four times a game, giving you an extra three to four points there, then that com- that helps him amongst that top group, that upper echelon of the groups against Austin Eckler and against Christian McCaffrey that he's able to keep pace with them in terms of receptions, if ever so slightly, at least giving them a quarter of their their production. And knowing what he does with the ball in his hands, too. If you give Derrick Henry the ball in open space, he can just run through guys. He's a wrecking ball. (laughs) So many highlights come to mind. So Um, many highlights, so many stiff arms. I don't know. I just don't know how I judge him so poorly off of just that one injury because it's like the one slip up in his career to this point. Yeah, it does feel That's a little bit a weird. Repetitive cycle for him because it's almost like these guys are grouped together because he had that one injury and people are wondering if he's going to turn into the next Christian McCaffrey while we're debating him against the current Christian McCaffrey. Couldn't Derrick Henry so, just be the exception to the rule and just be a genetic monster that we know him to be? So the narrative has been for the last few years that Derrick Henry is a great running back. And if you're not playing PPR, he's the choice. But if you're playing PPR, of course, then Christian McCaffrey or Eckler is the guy that you want over him. But last year he disproved that he, by catching as many passes as he was, it wasn't as much as the other guys, but it was eroding that narrative away. If you go with Derrick Henry, I mean, if he stays healthy, he's a great player who will do great things for your team. Same thing for Christian McCaffrey. I don't think you have a wrong choice. I don't know that you should really feel any any more confident in one over the other. I just like Christian McCaffrey's upside better this season. I don't know if I, that one injury is enough to make me think that Derrick Henry has lost it, that Derrick Henry is just going to be progressively heading downhill from this point moving forward. Christian McCaffrey, those soft tissue injuries, man, like that hamstring. Look at Julio Jones right now. 
He's got like yeah. half a hamstring between both legs. <laughs> so the other reason that people are taking this injury for Derrick Henry more seriously is that he's approaching that 30 year mark where Christian McCaffrey is still four years away from it. Early on in the draft. I don't know. I think I'm going to put more faith in Henry. That's how I'm kind of like going today. Yeah. I don't think there's any wrong answer to this one. I think that their upside um, to me puts them both above Austin Eckler. Um, I think it puts them above everybody else in the draft. I think you're, you're just best off going for one of these guys and hoping that they can pull you to a title and hopefully they stay healthy doing it. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, which way are you leaning? Are you run CMC or do you think that Derrick Henry is going to come through with another big time season stiff arms to come? Uh, let us know in the comments uh, from Juju, from Drew. Uh, stay safe, happy and healthy. We will see you on the next one.